fraction of the brownie has sprinkles? In this lesson, you will learn how to describe the fraction of a rectangle by counting unit fractions. You know we can think of a rectangle as one whole, and we can partition this whole into two, three, or four equal shares and describe each share as halves, thirds, or fourths. On the left here, I have one whole that was partitioned into two equal parts, with each region being described as one half of the whole. Two people can equally share this one half. Two halves make up the one whole. The middle whole has been partitioned into three equal shares, where each piece is called one third. Three people can equally share this one whole, and three thirds make up the one whole. Our last rectangle was partitioned into four equal shares, where each region is described as one-fourth of the whole. Four people can equally share this whole. Four-fourths make up the one whole. You can read the fraction of one whole when more than one share of the rectangle is being described. When you have one whole rectangle and partition it into two equal parts, we call each share a unit fraction. So you can see we have this unit fraction, one half, and this unit fraction, one half. A unit fraction is one of the equal shares that represent the whole. We have the same number of unit fractions as the number of equal shares we have partitioned a whole into. So we have two unit fractions when we have two equal shares. We know each share is called one half. Now if we shade in some of our whole, we can share how much is shaded by describing a fraction. So you can see that there are two equal pieces, each one half, and one of them is shaded in. So we can describe the shaded part as one half of the rectangle is shaded. Then if we shade in the other part, we can still see the rectangle was partitioned into halves, but now two of the halves are shaded, so we can say two halves of the rectangle are shaded. When describing the amount of one hole that is shaded, I first want to look at the hole and see how many equal shares it is partitioned into. So I see the hole is partitioned into three equal shares, with each piece being called one-third. Now I want to count the unit fractions, in this case one-thirds, of the whole that are shaded. And I can see one of the regions is shaded. So I count the one unit fraction and say one-third of the whole rectangle is shaded. Let's look at another one. Again, I want to first look at how many equal shares is my whole partitioned into and I know it was partitioned into three equal shares, so each region is called one-third. Now I want to look at how many have shading, and I'm going to count each unit fraction. One one-third, two one-thirds have shading. Instead of saying two one-thirds, we will just say two-thirds, so I would count it one-third, two-thirds, two-thirds, have shading. Now we're going to look at this rectangle and find out how many equal shares have polka dots. You can see again our one hole was partitioned into three equal shares, so each region is referred to as one third. Now I need to count how many thirds have polka dots. I see one third, two thirds, three-thirds of the whole are covered with polka dots. I have two new rectangles on this page. I see the hole on the left is partitioned into four equal pieces, with each piece being called one-fourth. Now I want to count the number of shares by counting the unit fractions, or fourths, that are shaded. So I see 
one fourth, two fourths. Two fourths of the whole are colored. Now for the next one, the whole is again partitioned into fourths because I have four equal shares. So now I need to count the unit fractions of my fourths. How many have shading? I see one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Three fourths of the whole are shaded. Now a mistake that is sometimes made is reading the fraction by just telling the number of shares being described. For example, here you can see a rectangle partitioned into thirds. You cannot say the fraction is two since there are two pieces shading because two does not describe what you are saying there are two of. The word third signals a fraction and lets everyone know we are looking at a part of a whole. So we have the whole partitioned into three equal parts, each unit fraction being one third. We have one third, two thirds shaded. So we would describe this rectangle as two thirds of our whole are shaded. What fraction of the brownie has sprinkles? So if I partition this brownie into four equal shares, I know each region is called one fourth. Now I need to count how many fourths have sprinkles on them. Well, I see one fourth, two fourths, three fourths of my brownie has sprinkles. Or I could say three quarters of my brownie has sprinkles. In this lesson, you have learned how to describe the fraction of a rectangle by counting unit fractions.